Hey there, Rich with Summit Life Group here. I want to talk about how to identify the best agency to partner with as an independent agent. And of course, I own and operate Summit Life Group, which is an insurance agency. But I will tell you, we are not the right insurance agency for every independent life insurance agent out there. And so as an independent agent, you are going to have to determine and find an insurance agency to partner with. You can't go straight to insurance companies and get the contracts that you're looking for. And so ultimately, if your goal is to be an independent insurance agent, whether you're newly licensed or you're in the process of getting licensed, you're gonna have to find an agency to partner with. So I wanna just share a few things from my perspective that you wanna look at as an independent agent to find the right insurance agency. And again, we at Summit Life Group are not the perfect insurance agency for every independent agent out there. So the goal is to find the right, in, the right insurance agency that best fits you. So I just want to give you kind of four things to consider and look at when you are looking to partner with an insurance agency. And I'll tell you the first thing, and it may seem obvious, but the first thing is to Think about partnering with an insurance agency where there is a, a level of trust. And I know trust can be developed over time, but at the end of the day, as an independent agent partnering with an insurance agency, you must look at it as a business partnership. And so if there is a feeling of distrust or lack of trust, then that's probably in most cases not the best insurance agency to partner with. So trust is very, very important because again, partnering with an insurance agency is really like a business partnership. And so find an insurance agency that you feel like you trust and trust your instincts on that, right? So trust is, is one thing that I would definitely look for is just finding an insurance agency that feels right where there's a high level of trust. The second thing that I would look at would be the culture of that insurance agency. And every organization, every agency, any organization out there, there is a certain culture. And it's not necessarily good or bad, it's just the culture of that organization, of that agency in this particular case. And so what I will tell you is, find an, an agency to partner with where you connect with and, and share the same values of that particular culture because from my experience if you try to partner with an agency where maybe the culture is just not something that resonates with you then most likely you're not going to have a lot of long-term success and you're going to you're, you're going to want to move on to a different agency so trust is very important the culture of that particular agency what do they believe in what is the what is the, just the culture of that agency and do you connect with it? Because if you do, you're going to find it's a lot easier to have long-term success with that agency. The third thing, and this is very important, is what are the sales methods that are used in order to sell life insurance? There are many, many ways and, and many ways that actually work to sell life insurance. Are you looking to sell door to door, face to face, door knocking? Are you looking to sell virtually? Are you looking to use only war market strategies? Are you wanting to use leads? Like there's a lot that goes into how that particular agency uh, primarily sells life insurance. And what I will tell you is if you can, you know, is it heavily recruiting based? Is it more geared towards sales versus recruiting to make sales? So those type of things are very, very important to consider. And again, it's not about is one right or is one wrong. It's what most connects with you and what feels right for you. And if you can find an agency where the sales methods make sense for you and they align with your ultimate goals, you're, I believe you're going to have more success partnering with that particular agency. And the last thing I'll tell you, the fourth thing is really training. Because as a newly licensed, brand new agent, training is absolutely vital. So how good is the training? How, how, uh, how much do you connect with the particular training that's being provided by that particular agency? Because as a new agent, training is one of the most important things. So those are just four things to consider, whether you're considering partnering with Summit Life Group or whether you're considering partnering with another agency.
Do you have a trust factor? Do you feel good about it, right? Do you trust that organization? Do you connect with the culture? Do the sales methods make sense with the type of, of, of strategies that you want to use to sell life insurance? And then is the training something that, that connects with you that you feel like is valid and can help you grow and scale your business? So obviously there's a lot more to consider when partnering with an agency, but those are four things that I believe are very important to consider whether partnering with Summit Life Group or any other agency out there. So, hey, I hope it helps. I wish you all the success uh, as you grow your independent life insurance business.